So both the files have been extracted into this folder which is database folder under this. So up to this point the folder doesn't matter except both the files have to be extracted in one folder. And then so they were extracted into this folder and then I click database and then I click setup.exe to install Oracle. It opens this screen which is Oracle Universal Installer which is basically a universal installer for install any Oracle product that Oracle supplies. The first screen configure security updates. Here we basically enter our email address and if we have an account with Oracle support we enter the username password also here. I'm gonna uncheck that. Even in the, the business world it's uh, usual where we where the DBS uncheck this thing because generally there will be they would be logging into Oracle support directly to get uh, security updates and any patch and those things. So this is basically you register and then you get informed of security issues and other stuff. So it's going to complain about not providing an email address. That's fine. So the next one is installation option. There are three options in that section. The first one is create and configure a database which is basically to create uh, uh, install and create a database from scratch. And uh, the second one is install a database software only. So remember the Microsoft uh, uh, Office example I gave. You install the software in C colon slash program files and then when you create your word file you mean I mean the doc files you store them in my documents folder right so like that here we can just install the software and then we can create the database later this one is if you already have oracle tenji in this machine then you can upgrade using this option so i'm going to go ahead and create and configure a new database The next screen is system class screen where uh, the two options presented are uh, desktop class and server class. This allows us to configure the memory parameters and other stuff so that the amount of resource that it's going to use it use uh, f from the computer where it's installed. So we are installing this in a desktop so I'm going to go ahead with desktop class but then in a real uh, uh, business scenario we would be installing Oracle database in powerful servers so you would go with server class. This one this screen is very interesting and there are three things we need to know about I mean, which are very important are one is Oracle base, second one is software location, third one is database file location. Oracle base, Oracle base is the path to a folder which would act as the base for any Oracle installation in that machine. So right now it points to F app SAM and if I install with this setup F app SAM would be the, the base and on which the Oracle software which is which would be installed under product slash 11.2.0 which represents 11G and then DB home would be installed and then database the file locations 
would be f app sam or a data okay in a business world we would be installing the database the data file location in asm i'll talk about asm later so i'm going to change this to c app sam because f is my portable hard drive So it will uh, if the folder doesn't exist it will create the folder so the software location is c app sam product 1120 db home the database location is this so these three are very important even if you are installing oracle in uh, unix environment you would configure a path as oracle base and then you would install the software underneath the oracle base in a folder or in a file system similar to this and this would be called oracle underscore home i'll talk about that later and then the database would be the data files would be installed in asm generally so these three you need to know very important anywhere any any machine you go uh, you want to administer then you need to know all these three and the database edition it gives me a lot of options personal edition standard edition one standard edition and enterprise edition i'm going to go with enterprise edition and uh, the character set i generally prefer unicode but then it depends upon if you are working it depends upon the business needs name of the database i'm going to call it demo db and i'm going to keep the password as password for the administrator as admin a d m i n and it will complain about that because it's not that strong so in the real world uh, in the real uh, uh, scenario you would want to keep this strong but then if you are installing this if you are installing oracle 11 g in your desktop by looking into this video uh, you can give your own password that you would remember so it's going to complain about the the strength of the password it's fine go ahead so it will do some prerequisite checks and then it will uh, check the physical memory and then swap size everything and then it will list the summary where you know it shows that disk space required is 3.34 gb but then i have like 200 gb available something like that it will just give us the list and then i'm going to click finish so it would start installing the database the software and the database so right now it's doing oracle database installation which is in progress beneath that prepare is one section which just completed and then copy files that's in progress set up files pending on oracle database configuration pending so this is going to take a while so i'm going to uh, end this video right now and then probably start recording a new segment after this thank you for watching